What's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the game common and well, we're playing more Civ 6 We're we're gonna try this episode again I was about 30 seconds into the last episode and uh, I left click moved one of my apostles right next to um, An inquisitor up there because left click is still apparently a thing when you know You're clicking on like look left click left click doesn't move But if I click up here, he's gonna move because that makes sense Like is there a mod that just like disables left click movement because like that's stupid i'm sorry that is absolutely stupid that left click is actually a thing oh i don't have open borders with you hmm i'd like to have open borders with you so i could you know see what you have going on but sure uh all right all right enough complaining um you're just gonna chill here for now you are gonna heal here for now and then we're probably gonna go ahead and send you to brazil uh inquisitor spread please so we have removed any uh, non-Hindu religion over here, which I like to see. Can I actually, I don't think I can get into his hair. I can. Can I actually remove his other religions here? Same thing with Germany. We're friends with them. I wonder if I can do that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, also, we still can't do that yet. Okay. Next turn. Any other apostles, missionaries, anything worth killing? Doesn't look like it. We may have, we may have neutered. Imagine todas as conquistas. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna imagine how great your people are. I still don't understand this one. Imagine all the amazing things the brilliant minds of my nation will accomplish. Okay, cool. What does that have to do with me? Why? So you're literally just sending me a text message right now saying, aren't my people awesome? LOL. Like, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. All right, number one, do this. Hindu. Okay, it's not Hindu, but it's close. <laughs> it's not Buddhist. How about that? So that should remove a lot of the freaking pressure these guys are facing right now. Yeah, it's down to one. Yeah, yeah, that almost completely eliminated the pressure. I wonder if maybe it's worth it not even to use a spread here. Because we are receiving more Buddhist or more uh, Hindu pressure than Buddhist pressure. It might just be worth it for me just to spread in uh, Moen Jaro, Daro and then just leave it. And they may actually both convert. Okay, so we can get a Guru. Don't care. At least yet. You still need to heal, please. Any day. Um, Where'd my other guy go? I was sending another guy south, I thought. Who's going to go right there? Huh. I don't know. Uh, Where is my Guru? Trying to get him over here. Trying to speed it along. Where is my apostle over here? Sounds good. What kind of buildings can we do? Um, I think I need units. I, I keep saying, hey, we should probably build some units. We should actually probably build some units. We got really good production here now, which is awesome. Uh, also, yeah, factory would be nice because we are going to be able to get power plants. Actually, didn't we already research power plants? No, we hadn't researched it yet. That's just gonna make give me some crazy production. Yeah, we're at 40. We might actually have better production here than in our capital now We do we do I sh should have totally built the arsenal here. Whoops <laughs> too late So 40 so that's gonna give me 43. So if we have better production here than anywhere else Maybe yeah, but it's gonna delete something uh, eh. Wait 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 what if we swap this back and then build the arsenal here? How many turns is the, ars the encampment going to take? Five. Not the arsenal, by the way. The encampment... It's then going to... Ugh, I hate this. I kind of wish, I hope Civ 7, which I know hasn't even been announced yet, but I hope that like you can build units and military buildings separately. Like I actually love how Total War Warhammer handles it. Like you can just build them completely separate. Um, I just always hate this dilemma of, hey, I need units, but you know, it would be really nice to also continue to build up my cities. <laughs> it's like, how does it make sense? Like, like we're using all of the city's production to train scouts i mean i guess i could get a spy too but i'm kind of like whatever on spies like what am i gonna do 
spy on them and steal their tech. I should be leading in the tech race right now. I think, uh, you know what? Nah, screw it. This is what we're going to do. Probably the wrong idea. We're going to swap this. And then I'm going to throw down an encampment right here. It's only going to take six turns. We're going to work on getting... Because um, here's the thing. If I could build a military engineer there, it's going to be really good. Although we'll probably be able to afford one by the time that's done. But whatever. It gives me more options. Um, also, too, if we're going to be building military units... Yeah, let's actually throw down the encampment. Because... Encampment... A district it doesn't give us it just gives us a little bit of production but then we can get the armory or the barracks which gives us plus 25 percent combat experience okay okay then we can get the armory which is also experience okay and then the military academy yeah okay i was actually hoping for stable doesn't do it yeah I, I was thinking that hey if you have this building when you build one unit you get two units instead of one but i think that's just the uh water and it's just the arsenal all right whatever okay we finally finished so you're saying farms I think right now our production is probably the bigger issue. So instead, let's actually put you up on the mountain. Let's build a mine there first. We could also get some fishies over here. And some crabs. And we are actually going to go try doing this. We can't. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like you can do it outside your city. Um Saldan's actually going and continuing to settle. Nice. Good for you. Good for you, sir. Okay, we're going to send you over there. Um, Bima did finish this. So let's grab a monument to speed things along. Or maybe just an industrial zone. We could grab an industrial zone and put it right here. We'll have three mines adjacent to it. And that's going to actually help our production significantly. Yeah. Yeah, that actually seems really good. It's going to take forever, but sure, let's go do this. I think our food's still okay here. Um, I mean, we're making... Uh, housing is okay. So we will need to work on housing. But our food is okay at this point. Um, we're just skipping until we can get our guru over here. Any day now. Uh, this guru is just chilling because all we're doing is keeping an eye out for the enemy. Who I don't think is going to be over here anymore. I think we're finally good. We'll probably keep them just a couple more turns, just to make sure. Because he could have had missionaries across the world, for all we know. And if he had a missionary across the world, it would take them a little whiles to get back. A little whiles. <laughs> I like that. It's my new word. Little whiles. You must not lose faith Humanism. In so we got invention, great humanity engineer points, great like artist points. Ocean. We can get the art museum, archaeology museum. The ocean um, the ocean so that means we can actually then start doing... What's the name of those guys? The archaeologist. Yes, because the archaeology museum. Good job, Brian. Uh, okay, change policies. Religious units we want. We still want that one. We have holy site adjacency. Industrial zone adjacency is giving our cities better production. I think we have to kind of keep that for now. I would actually like to upgrade to the next government. Like, up here to one of these. That would just be amazing. Like, democracy would be so wonderful. Even communism would be great. The downside is we would lose the bonus towards... Actually, wait, 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 wait. No, this bonus stays on, correct? 15%. Yeah, so you keep some of this bonus. No, that's, that's just discount on faith. We would lose the can buy um, the, the plus five religious strength. So we would lose that, which sucks, because I would like that. But eh, that's fine. Okay, what were our new ones? So we get great artist points. I still think I want my religious units. Yeah, I think we stay here. Okay. Civic. Um, get the privateer. Eh. Camp improvements. Plus one production. Plus one food. Sure. That seems better. We need to earn a great merchant for that one to trigger the boost. I don't think we're close to any of these, are we? 
So we are actually closing in on another great engineer. Oh, huh. all right. I'll take it. Great merchant. We have a long way to go. Gain 500 gold, gain two envoys. Oh my gosh, that would be so great. Man, 3,500. God, yeah, we're never going to get that. But, oh, that would be wonderful. We are also closing in on another great scientist. And that seems to be about it. <laughs> we're not too cultured. We're not very cultured of people. Like, let's be honest here. We're, we're, we're all about um, our religion and about... What else are we about? Our religion and... I mean, I guess we have a super old wonder from like, you know, 5,000 years ago. That's kind of cool. And we're building our second wonder. Woot. We're also smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good on tech. So we're smart people too. So yay. That makes up for our lack of personality. <laughs> uh, uh, where did I want to go? We can't spread you, right? No. It has to be adjacent to my city. That sucks. Skiism is spreading. Slowly, though. So do I have to worry about... See, that's the thing. All of my cities are really, really okay at this point. So you... You know what we're going to do? We're going to bring you back over here. And you're going to... Oh, I can't bring you over here because we have closed borders. Dang it. I was going to say we could use him uh, in attacking um, to help defend. But I don't think we can. I guess let's bring you down here. Because this city is going to have probably a lot of different religions too. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. It somewhat sucks because these two are both uh, Buddhist again. Maybe this is going to be his entire goal is just to eliminate the cities, states, religions. Okay, so once again, you guys are both going to convert eventually. I may just leave it like this and then we'll just use our last two spreads getting rid of these two. That sounds like a plan. Jerusalem wants a great merchant. Yeah, that's never happening. And you want a Calvary, which probably should happen, but... Okay, so you are back at full HP. What is going to be the quickest way to Brazil? This way. 12 turns. Wonderful. Can we actually capture this guy? Dang it. <laughs> we hoped. I really hoped. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, dang it. I need a military unit over here. Wait, wait, we have a scout. Oh, <gasps> come, 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 get over here. Capture the freaking worker. He probably only has one build, but dang it, I want him. I've never wanted anything more in my life. That's a lie, but for the sake of now, sounds good. Um, hey, go build this, sure. This is a really interesting looking town with all the mines and the kapongs and the fishing boats. It's really kind of cool. Like, this is one of those cities you don't want to live in because of the smog issues, but it looks freaking cool. And then you have Jakarta over here, which is just like, yeah, we're peaceful and calm and nice. We don't even have walls over there. And then you get to our capital and you're like, oh, look at how pretty it is and all these farmlands. <laughs> uh, this is the bastard brother of our other towns. It's the black sheep of the family. No offense to the black sheep. Black sheep are cool. Ugh. Okay, Allied Spain has built a workshop in Seville. Cool. Barbarian encampment somewhere. Again. That's the other thing. Okay, number one, I want a mod that basically uh, eliminates uh, left clicking from the game. And then I also would like a mod that um, uh, 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 shows you where the barbarian encampment spawns. Sorry, I, I got caught up in my brain because immediately I saw the Khmer Settler and I was like, wait a second. And I want to see something. So in our religion, cities start with the religion in place if founded by a player who has this as a majority religion. So because we have religious colonization, if we ever found ourselves not having a religion, we could go found a new city to put out more uh, Hindus and get our religion back. Now, obviously, we would have to survive long enough without until we can build a holy site in that new city and then start producing missionaries um, without that city being converted. But that is rather interesting to think about. We would basically always have the opportunity to uh, re-up our religion. Okay, so we still can't do that because we need plastics. Um, I do eventually need stone over here, but I don't think we need a builder quite yet. 
University is just gonna give me more science. I think we go factory. Get production boost. Because our production's pretty crap. Our growth is gonna be terrible. And I don't think there's anything we can do about it. We can't build any other districts till we grow larger. So then the only other option would be to build more military units. Didn't we build it? Yeah, we built another Zhong. So let's grab a factory, because we did just build a military unit. We're going to move our Zhong here. We're just going to put you on alert as well. Okay, so we can now purchase another Apostle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I want another Apostle. Boom. We're going to move you out here next turn. Uh, we got another Envoy. Heck yeah. Need more housing, need more amenities. Cool. Okay, so we have another envoy. No, we don't. You just told me I had an envoy. I'm watching you, game. Did I misread that? Apparently, I misread that. So we, oh, we actually finished another Zhang over here. Cool. Okay, put you on alert, too. So that's going to bump up my military presence. Um, by 90 at least <laughs> i was gonna say significantly and it was like eh, not really significantly but by a little bit at least okay so probably need a harbor over here something that we've been kind of delaying for a while here is this a zhong or sorry that's a kapong so let's actually throw you over here then plus four and that's actually better anyways yeah let's build a harbor here that's gonna actually help my production as well okay um, what did we finish? We built a nice. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're actually 150 stronger now. Not bad. So we can build a temple. It's gonna give me more faith. Probably. Um, also wouldn't mind commercial hub. We are struggling entertainment wise. I could spend a lot of money, put it here so we can get a zoo going. I don't want to spend a lot of money, though, because I can't afford the money right now. So, industrial zone. But here's the thing. We can probably only build one more district. No, we can build two more. So, maybe a harbor? We already have a harbor over here. Industrial district, or, yeah, it's not going to do a lot for me here. Industrial zone, because it's only plus two here. There's not really going to be any mines over here so we could do a campus not really going to do a lot for me either unless we go over here actually you know what would be interesting industrial zone right here we're plus two and then we'd be plus three as we built a mine here eventually yeah Plus two, but we're never going to be able to get that any higher. Is plus three really worth it? Or we could just do a commercial hub and get, get us more money. It's going to be plus two gold. Plus two gold. And it gives us one more trade route. Yeah. Wait, we don't have a harbor over here? We don't have a harbor over here. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, let's get a harbor over here. So... I need one of these two tiles. Unfortunately, I can't spin the gold quite yet. So, okay, let's delay for a couple turns. Let's grab ourselves a spy. Let's start building our spy, how about that? And then we may come back over here in a couple turns. Okay, we're gonna delay for, let's say, two more turns. Let's say till the end of this episode. How long have we been going? We're at 18 minutes. Till the end of this episode, and then we're gonna start moving them back out. Cause I'm feeling pretty confident um, right now with where we're at. You guys are still just freaking chilling. We're moving too slow between each turns right now, and there's not a lot happening, so I apologize. It's just a lot of thinking going on. We're nine turns away from there. What was, what did I want to look at? Crap. Crap, 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 crap. That's what we were waiting. About to finish a workshop over here. Oh, you know what? Number one, I want to look at world rankings. Look, look at uh, uh, domination victory. So 996. Yeah, we're still falling behind. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Uh, build you there. And then probably throw you right away over there. And then that's going to boost you. Actually, no, wait. Hold up. Let's move you here next. That'll be better. What was I going to do next? There was one thing I wanted to take a look at really quick. Hey, you want to be friends? No. Just checking. Hmm. What was I going to do next? Do we... 
Yeah, we did that there. Okay, so then we're sending you, I'm assuming, down here to Jerusalem. Another barbarian encampment. Apostle units available for promotion. Um, so let's go ahead and get him into the water, and then we will promote you. Uh, and we're going to do 75% again, because we already have our, our, our debater. And we want you to come join the masses of units. We are almost able to heal our units. Finally. <laughs> so we're going to have to spread them in such a way. Like if we did... Eh, I want... Did something like this, then like here, then like here, and then we put him like right there. We'll heal all four. We just gotta be careful that they're apostles. We are over water. So we just kind of have to watch his inquisitors. I didn't click there! Freaking left click! I hate you so much! Ah! Sorry. I'm better. I'm better. But oh my gosh, can left click not move? Why is that a thing? And it's only when you're like attacking or moving into an enemy territory. Ah, so stupid. So freaking stupid. Hey, Arabia. Yo. Hi. I want to tell him not to convert my cities, but apparently I can't do that. Okay, so we finished you. Um, builder. Bombard units it's gonna take forever to do anything we actually can't even build an industrial zone because our population is so crap is there anything we can do to actually bump uh, we need a worker that's about it so you know what let's actually go for another builder then it's gonna take a while but that's fine um housing i think i think i may just go factory what is your production here 23 23 it's gonna give us another three so it's gonna get me to 26 Eh. Let's do a market. We can do gold. And actually, that's what I was going to check on. We should now be able to afford. We couldn't last turn because we didn't have 680. I'm almost certain. I am just kind of saying that, though. But I'm pretty sure we couldn't. So we are going to be able to build our two forts, which is going to give us the boost, which is going to give us the one more envoy that we need. Ugh, long freaking turn. You guys are just chilling still. Chill. Chill. And then, let's see, we got a builder here. You just, just finished building there. How long until 19 turns? So, no, it's not going to happen anytime soon. So we could build a lumber mill there like they recommend. I guess. Are we actually working the tile? I'm assuming if they recommend it, they're actually working the tile. So let's do one more turn. And we're going to call this episode. You're chilling there. You're chilling there. You need to get your butt over here. I don't know why you decided to go that way, but sure. Okay, next. And now we're going to start moving people out the next episode. He didn't attack me, right? No, he's still over there. I don't think he can because he's not in my land. I don't know how that works. Okay. Claims that can Scientific be theory. Finish research, which means we can now do research agreements. So... Get you there. Let's get you there. I need you to come up here, please. Um, okay, so before we end the episode. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we lost. Crap. Hopefully he hopefully he wants to do that. Um, before I go anywhere else, I actually would like a research agreement with you. I can't do a research agreement. Do we both have to have that tech? Do we have to have an alliance before we can do a research agreement? Uh Apparently, we can't do research agreements. I think we both have to have it. That sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Does anyone have it? Ah, he does. So, let's do flight. Cool. He actually likes air powers. Huh. Interesting. So, hold up. What does the research agreement actually do? Research agreement. Uh, two allies declare can enter a research agreement to get a tech boost for a chosen tech. As part of forming the deal, a specific technology must be agreed upon. The number of turns it will take to complete the research will depend on the current research rate. If either player earns a boost, the agreement ends and the other player will get the boost immediately. So uh, the reason I did flight is because I can immediately do electricity. 
So I'm assuming, oh, we should actually just take this one for one turn. It's gonna take 21 turns to do flight. Now, my hope is then we're gonna basically finish flight in 21 turns so I can be researching everything else while we wait. I don't know, we'll have to see how that works. I don't know if I've ever done research agreements. Actually, I can guarantee you I've never done research agreements because I've never had allies this late in the game because everyone always hates me for whatever reason. But for now, let's wrap up this episode. I just want to double check. He has no one over here. Okay, so next turn, we're going to take the remainder of our um, um, force that is over here into Brazil in preparation for a full-on evasion. Uh, Islamic missionary, that's fine. Okay, so anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think, and as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game coming. Show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.